What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Pokemon Red. In the last part we made it all the way to Vermilion City. And this is actually my sixth attempt at recording this part. So uh, this part we're going to go and uh, explore Vermilion Ver Ver City. Now uh, one thing also is um, I took that Spearow I caught at the beginning of the game and I put it out of the PC off screen because uh, there's a particular reason why. Also we explored this house really quickly. I'm the fishing guru. I simply love fishing. Do you like to fish? Man, I like your style. Take these and fish, young one. And we received the old rods. Which, uh, all we can catch with the old rod in Gen 1 is magic art. But it isn't really like later games where, like, you can catch, like, tentacle also. Yeah, we're, we're stuck with kind of magic art. But anyway, I actually want to go into this house really quickly because, uh, this is the reason I took Spearow out of the PC. Hi, do you have Spearow? Want to trade it for Farfetch? Now, Farfetch is a horrible flying type. You may be wondering why I'm trying to trade my Spearow for a fly for a Farfetch. Even though Farfetch is absolutely horrible, like Pidgey's better, Spearow's better, Doduo's better, all of that. Farfetch is a really good HM slave because it can learn both Cut and Fly. It's definitely one of the best HM slaves in Gen One. So, uh. This is how the training works in the older, in the really the first two generations, because back then it was for it was through link cables. Now, if it's HM slaves, I'll I'm fine with the normally like I'm fine with this type of getting Pokemon, but it's more like when you have to trade with another version. I don't like that. So uh, yeah. So uh, and also when you trade a Pokemon um. I think he has something to say. Thanks, pal. Now, it's gonna have a default nickname, which the default nickname is Varshan. All of Farfetch stats are nine. <laughs> yeah, all it knows is Peck and Sand Attack. However, Farfetch is a really good HM slave because it'll learn both Cotton Fly, which will be useful later. So, um, yeah, I thought I'd lay that down right away. Now, there's um, one other thing I want to do in Vermilion City, which is, uh, I want to talk to this guy right here. Not this guy. Um, I want to talk to this girl. I chained a Pokemon fan club. I've collected over 100 Pokemon. I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. So, you come to visit here about my Pokemon? Good, then listen up. My favorite, Rapidash. It's cute, lovely, smart, plus amazing. You think so? Oh, yes, it. Stunning, kindly, love it. Hug it when sleeping, warm, and cuddly, and spectacular. Revision. Oops, look at the time. I've kept you a little long. Thanks for hearing me out. I want you to have this. And uh, we receive a bike voucher, which uh, we can now, we can go to Cerulean City and try for our bicycles. So uh, yeah, that's all I really want to do in Ver Vermilion City for now, because unfortunately we cannot access this gym. So uh, we're gonna have to find other ways to get across there. So um, however, um, this is the Vermilion Harbor. However, I would like to go one place really quickly. I'd like to go into Diglett's Cave. Not we're not gonna go all the way to Diglett's Cave, but however, uh, um, in Diglett's Cave you can find Diglett and Doug Trio, and uh, Diglett's 90% encounter rate and Doug Trio's 90%. This is really good if you catch Squirtle. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to see if I can catch one of these Diglets, but I want to find Diglett at a very particular level, so I might cut a little bit. But um, alrighty, so. After chasing up Diglett for this level for five minutes, I get what I want, but, uh, I like to catch Diglett at level 21 or 22, because you can find Diglett on this route anywhere from levels anywhere between 15 and 22, so, um, I like to ideally try to catch one at a higher level, so I, don't, I take less time evolving it, but, uh, I swear to God, critical hit, but, uh, yeah, we're gonna try to see if we can, uh, ooh, we almost took this thing out, but, uh, let's try to see if we can catch this thing. This is actually going to be a member of my team also. It's going to be a third member of my team, and uh, Diglett was caught. Now, I was thinking between a Psychic and a Ground type, but um, I chose Squirtle, so um, any if I chose any other starter, I would have gone with the Psychic type of my team, but um, Diglett will allow me to take out the next gym, so uh, I'm also gonna, I also have a planned nickname, which is yet another Mario reference. Money Mall. Uh, now, the best part about Diglett is that we no longer need escape ropes because uh, what we can do now is uh, 
Just dig back to the Pokemon Center. So, uh, yeah, I guess what we can do now is, uh... I guess we can, what we can do now is, uh... I guess this is the, uh, shorter part. I don't know, but, uh... I guess one last thing we can do, and, uh... I guess one last, really last thing we can do is, uh... Get one last Pokemon I want to use, uh, for later purposes. We're gonna go back into Diglett's Cave, but, uh... This time we're gonna go all the way out, and I think that's the last thing we'll do in this, uh... Oh, in this video, but, uh... Because, uh... The great thing about Diglett's Cave is that you can find, like, you can encounter Pokemon and, like, uh, I guess I'll show the first encounter, bro. Like, um, you can find Pokemon that'll give up 200 XP every single time. So this is a great candidate for one of the best grinding spots in the game. Plus, um, I have a high-level Diglett, so this is it. We are gonna outspeed this thing, so, uh, I would ideally like to get my Diglett up a couple of levels. Plus, the only problem with Diglett is that he's got really low HP and he's got really bad physical defense. So, especially since the Jigglypuff almost took out a uh, Diglett. But, uh, yeah, I'll show this. Uh, actually, we're, we're equal level now. But, uh, come on, give me the damn XP. Actually, he didn't even use Diggs. So that's great. But, uh, we should, uh, get almost like, a couple levels. I think I'll cut out these our main encounters. Uh, how, 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 close, how close is Diglett to a level? Monumental to a level up. 913. So we're, we'll get a, we'll get a, a level up when we're out of here. Anyway, so now we got... What do you know? Monumental faints. So, uh, yeah, so, uh... Unfortunately, we're not going to get Monimol up a level up, but uh, I'd ideally like to get out of Diglett's Cave just so I can show one last thing before we cut this uh, part out. But, um, if you notice, once we get out of Diglett's Cave, we also cannot go, really go any further. But, um, we have nine Pokemon to catch, but we can't go any further. But, uh, I ideally have to get my tenth Pokedex entry. Now, what we're going to do is, uh, I'm looking for Abra. Why don't you know for Mr. Mime? And... I've used Mr. Mime on my playthrough, on my team and playthroughs, and it's a really solid Pokemon. However, um, I also think Magna, I also think Mr. Mime can make a really good HM slate for Flash, so, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go plus to get the 10 Pokemon required to use Flash, so, uh, Abra went to Trainer, and, uh, For Bears Abra. Transcends Mr. Mime. Trant Race Farewell as Mr. Mime is transferred. And we got a Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime is actually a really good Pokemon to use on your team because it, for traded Pokemon, when they get uh, XP, they get uh, more XP. They get double the XP, which. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna we're not gonna go through Diglett's cave another time because we can just use Dig with our Diglett, but um I guess now we'll cut it off for this part of uh Pokemon Red. So um once we get back to Vermilion City. Anyway, so I guess we're gonna cut it off for this part of Pokemon Red. So next time on Pokemon Red, we're gonna figure out how to get get to that damn gym. I'll see you guys uh next time. See you then.